hello friends um, welcome back so uh, in continuation with our vertex so today we are going to start vertex web so as we discussed in the first session so vertex will offer two things vertex core and vertex web what using vertex core um, you can write verticals mainly it will be useful for you for writing the pipelines especially if you wanted to process the messages all those stuff so vertex web the purpose of vertex webs web is altogether different than the vertex core vertex web is is mainly to develop the vertex web services using the vertex web we will develop the web services friends before starting it if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel um i have created a playlist for uh, vertex um, vertex um, playlist is there you can go through it and all the code whatever i have i'm showing i have been committed to github and then putting that link in the description so description of the videos please you can make use of it if, if you wanted to verify it okay now uh, if you type in the google vertex web documentation then you will have vertex web then it will take you to here so what is the dependency we want for this is this is the dependency if you are using maven then this dependency you have to use if you are using gradle you have to use this dependency so i have created a project called vertex web project so inside that i have added already this part so it requires core and uh, config also if you are passing the configuration file then we need config otherwise we don't need so here uh, in this case um, co core is compulsory because we will use some core uh, classes and this is the vertex web uh, dependency so now what i'll do i'll um, i have created a vertical called bootstrap vertical as usual so inside that i have a start uh, method so using the launcher i will launch this so how do we do that right click go to uh, run as and then run configurations see here you can double click on java application it will open up then choose your project where you are in so here if you click on search then it will come so launcher class will come you just need to select and we have to give a run and a full path of our class where it is located including the package so uh, this will bootstrap our uh, this will bootstrap our uh, class right so now as of now it is not there anything so i'll just put as for st and then start it so far we have not done anything guys so i'll just start it so it should print me that class one second so here this is my vertex project web project i have to go there and then choose it so it has developed uh, sorry deployed now i'll stop that so now to create web service right we have to have a server in general if it is spring boot and all we um, see spring boot and vertex web is having a lot of similarities so spring boot we have to give the dependency of the server which server we wanted to give tomcat or um, under to or jbus whatever the server we want but here we don't need to give so vertex web is inbuilt it is coming with um, uh, some apis some classes is there http server so this this is the class you can create this server so vertex dot create server create a server. this will create a http server for us and then it has to listen on some port right server dot listen is the method so before that th this this will create the server guys server dot listen so um, on what port we have to listen i will give id port okay 
that's now i wanted to add one uh, uh, web service so how do you do that so there is one something called router in uh, uh, vertex so we have to take that router router equals to router dot router so we have to pass the vertex object so i'll tell you what is the use of this so on the router we have to add our paths so router dot there is a i wanted to write a get method so that should listen on let's say uh, get customers so when i give slash get customers then it should it should respond me then i'll write a handler what it has to respond so here context you can give any name guys here so this is the handler for that particular uh, web service this is my web service now now first let us do only just a uh, printing dot context dot response dot end so here we will give get customers called so i am not doing any implementation here so this is the simplest web service let us run this the same way how we run it so this is how i'll run that so once you deploy this right then it'll be done so i'll go to configurations so this is my uh, this one and then, sorry guys here we have to handle it right handle request handler we have to give request handler dot so here router we have to give see on router we have done that right see this is the router on the router we have uh, done our web service right we have to pass that router to our server this is going to we are going to we are saying that server this request handler router is the request handler which is going to handle it so now let us run this so i have shown you how to run it so now it is deployed okay it is deployed now if you give uh, slash get hand guest customers then it'll uh, it should return as the get customers called so we'll see more on that so what is the port here it is http colon slash slash localhost colon 80 slash get customers right this is our uh, web service which we have written see we are getting the output as get customers called right so this is the uh, one. so as because we are given port as 80 we don't need to give port if it is 80 so that is why localhost that that customers also it is working so now let's say if i wanted to give some other port so i stopped it so i'll give 8080 so here again if you run it then it will listen on 80 port so here now if i give this it will not it will show so um, this site cannot be reached if i give colon 8080 then it should give me that response so http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash get customers this should give me that result same result now let's say i wanted to uh, give some json object as a response so what i will do so uh, here i will create a json object so which is there inside our core customer so new json object 
so customer dot put so here I am making name as smile so this is my uh, customer this I wanted to send so now this I can send customer dot to string or there is a method called uh, encode prettily okay um, let us see how it behaves so now again I am running it new configuration so it, it got deployed successfully so it is running on 9080 port see guys now I got the responses JSON this is my response so this is how we develop web services using the vertex so what I will do next in the next session some more like we have seen only get method now we have put post um, delete all those methods we'll see in the next session so stay tuned to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel thank you guys bye bye